Yo, what's going on, guys? Retro Retake here. I'm Steph, joined by Ants. Hey, guys. And uh, we're just um, we're bringing another Call of Duty video here, just mixing it up on the channel a little bit. And this is basically, unfortunately, I tried recording this gameplay. However, it it kind of crashed on me the files. So this is this is playing through theater, and I just wanted to talk over the gameplay and just tell you what I'm thinking, trying to bring you guys more tips on on how to do better, basically. So here we're rocking the M8 with, um, I think it's Elo Sight, Quick Draw, Rapid Fire, and Grip, and an RK5 as well, just as a secondary because we're not using fast mags. So it's basically when you're using the M8, you want to use that, and then if you need to finish off somebody or you need to get a quick kill, you pull out the the RK5 and just finish them off. We uh, we're running Specialist as well and UAV Cerberus Wraith. They're basically my go-to. Now, in this gameplay here, I'm, I'm kind of playing as an AR player. I switch it up every time. If I'm using a submachine gun, I'll try and rush. If I'm using an AR, I tend to sit back and try and, and try and get them through there, through like long alleyways, things like that, where I can use the AR to my advantage. So basically, I've got a pretty good spawn here. Now, we cleared them out. And I'm basically cutting through the middle of the map. I'm trying to get to, to where they are as quickly as possible. And I saw quickly on the mini map there that there was a little little circle that popped up if you're not running Blast Suppressor. And so I saw someone was near here. And I'm trying to find him and I heard him. And I get him. Again, I know they're spawning on the other side. So I'm trying to run through the middle of the map to get there as quickly as possible. I could go around, but by the time I do that, one, my teammates will spawn on me. And two, they would have moved. So I see him. I rip a him. Come over here. Rip a him. Shaky. And I try to turn and rip a him as well. Unfortunately, I missed that. So put up the UAV here to find out where they are. I know they're spawning there. And unfortunately, he one bursts me. That's all right. Again, I look at always looking at your minimap radar, just trying to find out where they are. Always make sure you're looking there. Line him up. Come around. Now, see, this is where the RK5 comes into play. It's perfect for pulling it out after using an M8. Unfortunately, he had an M8 as well, this, and he was able to kill me. So it's 31 to 29. Pretty close game. Only three minutes in. It's it's not too bad. So I see him, I see him, and I saw him as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick him up there. So I get him. Firebreak oh, the same guy. Yeah, that, the G's guy. I don't know. It's basically, guys, you always want to keep on moving. You never want to get caught because if you do stop moving, most of the time you'll find your teammates have moved on beyond you, and then their teammates either... Well, the enemy either spawns on you, or again, they uh, they can just flank you. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing really smart. I'm using that alleyway and trying to keep my distance as an AR player. Finally get ovation there. And do we pick up that kill? Yes, we do. Come around again. See, this is why the RK5 is perfect. If I had tried to reload my M8, I probably wouldn't have picked up that kill. And then we pick up the CUDA. The CUDA is a beast gun, guys. If if you do want to use a gun, definitely the CUDA is a great option to use. And we get Tempest there. Not much we can do. 45 off our Wraith. A bit unlucky, to be honest. It's still 48 to 41. It's quite close. And that's because the the guy on their team, I think his name's Ovation. He's quite good, actually. I, he, um, he gave me a few deaths, a few problems. 51 to 43. Not bad. Cerberus is getting to getting a bit of work done. Unfortunately, we spawned here, and it, it takes a while for the Cerberus to move. Even, you know, they buffed it, trying to increase its speed, but it's still struggling. Now, here I saw him use Rejack. I knew he was going to come up and try to finish him off again. Unfortunately, I got gunned. Not much I can do there. I guess I could have waited till he ran out and pre-aimed in, but that's all right. I had an RK5, so I tried to play close quarters. The closer I was, the better I would have killed him, so... Now, I'm kind of in our spawn again, so I'm going to try and move out of here. And I, I really don't want to stay here. 
Yeah, you, that's the problem. You kind of want to move out in that situation. I want to move out of this room. Sorry? I want to move out of this room. <laughs> so I see quickly on my minimap there that there was a red dot and he was going to come through. And he hadn't died yet, so I quickly pushed him. I knew my teammate was just waiting, and he was waiting as well. So I quickly ran and picked up the kill before him. And I heard a hellstorm, so I tried staying indoors until it passes. It finally passed, and I can run out. And just a little tip, if you guys know that the hellstorm is going to come for you, you can actually look up in the air and try and shoot it down before it expands. Definitely a good play to, to make in clutch situation. Here, I was sick of using an AR. I felt like the game needed to be, the tempo needed to increase, so I pulled out my VMP silence class. It's a very good class. If you guys want a video on class setups, just let me know and I can arrange that. It's basically, guys, when you have an SMG, you want to be moving around as much as you can. Even with an AR is good. And definitely this silencer is so good on a VMP, it is underrated because even if you do miss shots, the enemy's not going to know. Now here I knew teammates, there were enemies behind me, but I didn't push them because I knew my teammates would get them. Instead, I kind of thought, where are they, the enemy going to be so I can get even more than just two kills? Which is what's happening here. If I had gone back and got those two kills before, I probably wouldn't be in the same spot I am now where I'm behind them ready to flank. So pick up the Pharaoh. It's not bad. I know they're spawning over there. Kill him, get a Cerberus again. And we're, ju we're just going to work on these guys now. The, the, the enemy are definitely struggling. I have picked that up ever since I pulled out the VMP. We have up the tempo, which is nice. Wasted. Unfortunately, get killed 45 off a of Wraith again. What are the chances? I don't know, but that's all right. Now here is not the best play to do. I'm running outside, and then I think to myself, yeah, I'm running outside. I've got to run through the middle of the map. The game's almost over, so I didn't have time to run all the way around. So I quickly cut into the middle, see if I could get a kill, and my Cerberus gets one, and then I finish the last guy off, which is quite nice. That's that's basically how it's done, guys. And we finished 43-9, and nine. not too bad. Uh, the enemy team, someone got 26-15, and 15, pretty good. Our team struggled a little bit. But uh, we definitely stepped it up there with the five assists. Could have finished 48 and 9. Pretty good gameplay, guys. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's that's going to do it for me here today. And um, hope you guys have a good one. And we're out. Adios.